Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Emily Harris, author of Mostly Steamy Historical Romances, and today I am back with a little check-in, mostly for the other authors around to let you know I'm still here and how things are going with my my new goals for the year. <clears throat> so to start off with, I hope you all had a wonderful March. And as for me and my goals, uh, March was pretty miserable. <laughs> March really was not good for me. Um, on a few fronts, actually. I, I have my author notes here that I'll share in just a second. But also on my health front. Unfortunately, I, I had been to the doctor about... Um, some some troubles I was having, some digestive troubles, and as it turned out, the advice the doctor gave me just made me feel so much worse. <laughs> and I was just completely uncomfortable and depressed and fatigued for a lot of the month. So that did not help. Now that I have discontinued listening to the doctor, I'm starting to feel much better. So, yay. Also, I did put in a couple of weeks of a lot of work on my other website that I run, trying to get that back up and running so that dug into my time a little bit for the month. But how did I do on author things, on, on writing and the ads and all of that? Well, writing, terrible. Absolutely terrible. I think I had two good days of writing and then it all just disappeared. It evaporated So I did not really make progress on my manuscript uh, this month On the upside I have taken in some editing work on someone else's manuscript and that is going well I, I was very excited about that. I was happy about that. So that's going well and then on to the marketing side of things. I did get a, another set of ads up and running to test and I did tweak a few things as far as budget just to experiment and see if it made much of a difference if I upped my budget. It did not and actually it turned out pretty bad because I lost a lot of money this month uh, experimenting and for I was basically trying to come up with the winning ad for a particular book I have one ad that does really well for one of the books and the next in line of my initial tests the next most popular book is the one I'm trying to do ads for now so I'm not entirely sure where I went wrong because according to the the numbers on Facebook, on the Facebook dashboard, um, the numbers looked very good as far as click rates and all of that. Now, I admit I don't really understand how any of this correlates to sales. I that's one of the things that's always been a little bit iffy for me. I, I have noted certain key numbers with the one ad that I do have that does well as and I've kind of used that as parameters so I know what my cost per click should be in order to stay in positive numbers and I know my frequency of how many times someone sees the ad before things start to dwindle. So I have those basic numbers, but at any rate, what I'm getting at was the numbers were good. <laughs> the numbers were good, but the ad performance was not. The sales did not show that it was good. So now I'm kind of back to what do I do? Where am I going from here? And I had a couple of observations. For one thing, my initial thought on the new ad, once I figured out which one was the winning ad for this set, my initial thought was, well, I've got plenty of people looking at it, I've got plenty of people clicking on it, but I'm not getting sales. So there must be some issue between clicking on the ad and buying the book. 
first I thought, well, maybe it's because I am using my book funnel links, so it's adding a, a second step. My, my sister pointed that out, that maybe people don't like that. They want to go straight through to the sales page. All right, so I changed the link. My other thought was, well, maybe they get to the sales page on Amazon and there's something wrong with the description of the book. They, something in the blurb is not catching their eye and they decide not to buy it. So I was all set to go and start revamping the blurb, but, but then I went back and looked at last month. Now last month was not ideal either. However, the sales numbers were not that different. I did shut these ads off, I think a little bit earlier. And so I did have a few, a few fewer, <laughs> a few less sales of the books for, compared to last month. However, it shouldn't have made as much of a difference as it did in the overall earnings number. So then I had to look at the page reads because all of my books are in uh, Kindle Unlimited and after some debate I decided to keep them there rather than try to go wide with my books and it was just a low read month. There, there was a significant difference between last month and this month of how many pages people read. So I'm not really sure why, maybe because last month was February, people were doing romance, uh, bookathons, and that sort of thing. I have no idea, but that did make a difference. So I still need to look at the description of my book. There's probably some way that I can improve it. And then I had a couple of other notes, or at least one. I think I mentioned one was the additional clicks. I did note in my newsletter, I did survey my newsletter and ask them if they like the way that I am doing the deals and promotions page. I used to do it the way everybody does it and put those things in the email itself. Me personally, I thought that was very busy looking and cluttered. Plus, I thought, well, if I create a dedicated page on my website, then I can offer more for those people who want to go shop the, the deals. So I did that, but I haven't really been get, getting a lot of engagement on that. And my, my promo reputation has been suffering over on Book Funnel and Story Origin because of that. So again, I thought, well, maybe people just don't like the additional click, right? And they do not. According to the survey, <laughs> they don't want to mess with that. So I am going to go back to putting those things in the newsletter. Initially, <clears throat> I also did that to help me out with not having to every single week go in and change things, but apparently I can't get away from that. Um, I, it, is, it is inefficient in my mind, but it's the way it has to be. So <clears throat> going to change that. All right, so back to the ads. I was talking to a language student of mine and he suggested, well, if the ad isn't working, uh, he suggested two things to look at, but the one that stuck with me was uh, maybe the ad is misleading. So I thought about that and I thought about what, what ads are the most popular that I've been running. So in both cases for these books, the initial ad with the cover of the book was pretty popular. And then I swapped out with an image. So like a character image of uh, a man or a woman, you know, to portray the character of the book, one of the main characters. And those ads were significantly more popular, lots more clicks on those. But then I thought, well, maybe I need to go back and look, is it still obvious that this is a book that people are clicking through to. Maybe it's not. Again, 
I have fallen into the trap of assuming too much because I know what I think. I project that onto my readers and that is not helping my cause. I was assuming that because I am targeting readers of romances uh, via other author names and things like themes like Regency romance, romance novels, um, historical romance, I'm assuming that that's what these people are looking for. That's, you know, what, what I'm going to get, that they are going to be looking for books. But again, I should not be assuming that. So I need to look at whether or not it is still obvious in that image that it's a book they're going to be clicking on because that could be part of the problem. Maybe they like the image, they click on it, then they go see it's a book and oh, I don't want it. That could be. And when I go through the ads, what is most popular is the image plus a just the tagline, no, no long amount of, you would think readers would be better at reading the stuff in the ad, the, the description of the ad, but no, <laughs> they prefer short. So when I take out that portion of the blurb or whatever else I put in there and just leave the tagline, maybe it's not so clear anymore. So I'm going to go in and adjust those ads and I'm going to test run them again. Uh, the cover ads and also the image ads, but I'm going to add to the image to make it a little bit more clear that it's a book and see what happens. So that is my idea for the moment. For the coming month, I'm going to focus on the same ads I already have and tweaking them a little bit. And how did things go for the rest of my goals for March? Well, the short answer is I did not achieve any of them. None. The I did not make my subscriber amount. I came close. I did come close, but no cigar this month. Did I meet my earnings goal? No, I did not. Did I meet my profit goal? Definitely not. No. And uh, did I complete the dirty drafting of my manuscript? Also no. So what I will be doing for April is just continuing the March goals and seeing if I can do better. So that is the update for the moment. And hopefully one of these days I will have a more book related video since um, I, I like doing these little check-ins and I do them just in case the other authors find them interesting, but it was really not the thing I wanted to do with my channel to begin with. So um, I don't want to only do these. <laughs> but anyway, so I will see you the next time and let you know how it goes for everyone else. I hope that your goals are going well and that you are having productive months and I will chat with you soon. Until then, happy reading!